This ClickView enablement module will provide you with an introduction to set analysis. It will include both confirming your set analysis results are correct and accurate, and then change them to show your expected results. We will begin by using the President's demo application to explain the difference with correct results versus expected results. Set analysis means an expression is calculated over another data set than the current selection. How would you go about troubleshooting a set expression that does not give you the expected results? And where would you begin? Well, the first step in troubleshooting is to evaluate what result the selection in the set expression will return, then what you expect to return. The chart called 20th Century Presidents in this example is expected to display all presidents that started the presidency in the 20th century instead of all presidents. The chart has been accomplished by using set analysis in the chart's expressions tab. In this specific example, the set expression limits the calculation to records having the presidency period that starts between 1900 and 1999. The field from is used to filter the records. Toggle between the two expressions and notice that both expressions use the same set expression. Before closing the chart properties, we will copy the set expression so that the same selection can be applied later on. Highlight set expression. Press Ctrl C to copy the string. The first step in evaluating a set expression results is to copy the chart. Press and hold Ctrl key. Left click and hold on the title bar. Drag the chart to place a copy of it on the sheet. Right click on one of the charts. Select properties. Go to the expressions tab. Remove the set expression from both expressions called from and to. Go to the general tab. Alter the chart name so that we can identify the difference in the two charts. We will type in no set analysis. Press OK and close the properties. As expected, the chart without the set expression now has more data than the original chart, since there is no additional filtering applied to the expression. Click the search icon in the list box called from. Delete the two asterisks and press Ctrl V to paste the set expression. The list box now shows the possible values for the search filter. Press Enter to apply the search filter to the list box called from. The list box has all values during the 20th century selected, so that the set expression filter seems to be accurate. The current selection box is updated with the new selection, which matches the set expression. In summary, the chart without set expression now has the exact same data as the one with set expression. The conclusion is that the set expression is set up correctly. Even though the manual selection and the set expression give identical results, are the results what you expect? In the president's scenario, let's consider a list should only have contained the presidents that have their entire presidency in the 20th century. Looking at the chart, it seems that the last president, William Jefferson Clinton, ended his presidency in the 21st century. To exclude the last president from the chart, the selection needs to be altered. As the end of the presidency is a factor, we need to add a list box where this can be affected. Right-click the sheet, select New Sheet Object, and then List Box. Change the field value to 2. Go to the Presentation tab and uncheck Single Column so we can manipulate the box shape. Press OK. We will adjust the To List Box shape to match the From List Box shape. It is now visible that the To field has a possible value that is outside the 20th century. We can correct this range by inserting the Set Expression to filter the results. Click on the From List Box search icon. Delete the asterisk and paste the set expression. Click on the To List Box search icon. Delete the asterisk and paste the set expression. Press Enter to apply the search filter on the fields. The chart has now been shortened to exclude the presidency that begins in the 20th century and ends in the 21st century. Just the results we were looking for.
Based on the to and from field selections seen in the current selection box, we now know which set expressions are needed in order for the list to include the precedents we are looking for. Right click on the original chart with set analysis based expressions. Select properties, go to the expressions tab. Alter both expressions to contain the to field selection. Press OK to save the chart object change. Clear the selection of the to field. The original chart with set expression still shows the expected result. The chart without set expression has one more row. It is now confirmed that the set expression shows the expected results in the original chart. In summary, the chart with set analysis shows the expected precedents serving only within the 20th century, regardless of the to and from selections made in the application. Now as we remove the current selection from, you can see no selections applied. Make some random selections to the to and from list boxes. Notice the set analysis control chart called 20th century presidents remain the same. This is now the expected result you want to return with the set analysis as configured. Reviewing what we just learned. As a reminder, although the set analysis may return accurate data, it may not be what you're expecting. When you run into set analysis calculation differences, a great way to troubleshoot these differences is to become familiar with your data. Then, take apart your set analysis calculations or ranges and apply them one at a time to confirm your expected results. A few tools and resources you can use is the ClickView Help menu by pressing the F1 key while ClickView Desktop is open. You can also view the release notes, reference manuals, as well as Browse Click Community.